what's going on of course to all of my alternative adult book snobs it's me amira blaze and welcome back to another episode of bookshade so <laughs> so guys for today's episode i have a really really good new segment for you on the program that is going to be called the paranormal romance audiobook wrap up so what i'm going to be doing guys is every like couple of weeks or so i am going to be doing a wrap up of really really good paranormal romance audiobooks and some of them you may have not heard of but today's audiobook guys it made me lose 30 pounds okay because it was that hot it was that steamy just listening to it guys got me all sorts of different levels of being hot and bothered and what i'm talking about is this lovely audiobook right here okay look mm. Ooh, look how fine look look how fine this man is mm. Mm -mm -mm. good god but <laughs> enough of me drooling over this fine ass book cover here but what we're going to be talking about today and what i'm going to be reviewing is the audiobook of the mate okay by abigail owen this is actually guys a prequel to the main series of books that she wrote that is called a fire's edge now before we get started here guys normally i would not be into the, like this particular this particular type of like romance book because usually when it comes to paranormal romance i am reading mainly vampire romance okay but you guys told me that you know i need to get you know i need to really get with it and step outside of my comfort zone and try some shifter romances or shape shifter romances these are very popular it's a very very popular um genre within the main romance book genre so i said you know what let me step outside of my comfort zone and give a shape shifter romance a try and guys i have to say i am happy to report that i actually am starting to like the shape shifter romances if and only if it is done correctly so let's get into it shall we so the mate guys by abigail owen is a prequel once again like i mentioned to the main series of books that she has that is called a fire's edge and guys there's a lot of fire right a lot of fire in this audiobook this audiobook lasts for about approximately over two hours but guys it goes by so quickly that by the time you look you're like it, it's over I, I want more okay so let me get into it so the whole premise guys of the mate okay is this is a dragon shape shifter romance okay and usually usually i'm like i said i'm not into shape shifter romances but guys this one was so good i i couldn't resist guys i i had to i i had to finish reading it like i started today and i finished it in one day it was crazy usually i don't really like read like that but this audiobook guys was so damn good i couldn't help it okay so the mate follows two main um protagonists okay so first off you have maddie and then you have the very sexy mm, 
the very tasty, intelligent, romantic, sensual, passionate, desirable falcon. So within this short story, guys, those are the two main points of view that you get. And both are very humorous, especially once you get into Falcon's perspective of what's going on within their relationship. Okay. So in the first half of this audiobook, you're introduced to both of them and they're in a very interesting predicament because what happens is falcon is known as what is called an enforcer okay so enforcers are pretty much these um shape-shifting dragon protectors that pretty much make sure that each dragon clan is well protected and then you learn later on because let me tell you guys for being a short story there is a lot of complexities that go within this story so not only is he an enforcer he's at the point of his life that he really wants to have a significant other also in this particular book is known as a mate hence the name of this short story the mate okay so every enforcer or every dragon shape shifter throughout time if they're lucky will have a mate and the way that you like signify that this mate is right for you is that they'll actually start to have this um, symbol that will glow on their skin and depending on the color of this particular symbol that determines which um, which clan dragon clan that you are able to consummate with but but there is a catch to this okay so and this this is what made me laugh throughout this listening to this audiobook is they have what's called the mating council okay now the mating council helps with the process of making sure that the woman or your mate hopefully is your mate and i won't give away the deeper complexities to it but let's just say, because I don't want to spoil it because you guys got to listen to this audiobook. It's so good. But let's just say there is a consequence if you don't get the right relationship happening, if you don't have the right mate. Let's just put it that way. It's very complex, okay? So not only does poor Maddie here, because throughout the audiobook, like I mentioned before, there are two perspectives that you're getting. The first perspective, of course, is coming from Maddie. And here's, here's the interesting thing. Maddie and Falcon actually worked together in the past. And what what's really interesting is he broke up with her and was like i'm sorry bitch i just i just can't okay and it's not that he did want to break up with her because you know they were getting to know each other and they were working on um because maddie her job is she um investigates like arson so like fires and stuff like that so how funny is that like he's a dragon shapeshifter fire get it i know it's not funny but you know i have a very interesting sense of humor but getting back to this review so maddie was feeling falcon and then falcon decided to be ratchet and was like okay i can't because when you're an enforcer and i mean you're a dragon shapeshifter in this particular uh culture of dragons this particular society um it is forbidden for dragon shapeshifters or enforcers to um to become intimate with regular human women okay but if 
they if if they find their mate then it, it's a little bit easier I'll just put it that way okay so not only does like okay so poor Maddie you know she's thinking like oh well Falcon doesn't really love me like clearly so that's why he decided to be ratchet and bounce you know like not um bouncing in the way of like not wanting to get to know me but in his mind she maddie is at fault because one day she just decides to say well bobbage you know and ends up going away and then you find out why that happens definitely check out this audiobook guys i'm telling you okay so then they end up reuniting in the most funny way because we come to find out that Maddie has become a candidate to have a shape shifter partner. And that's when guys, all hell breaks loose. And will Maddie and Falcon get together? You're gonna have to find that out, okay? Guys, from start to finish, this audio book, mm, it is so hot. Like, the, the okay, so the people who do the um, the narration is, and oh, I love him. Like, guys, I am going to listen to every audio book that this man narrates because not only is his voice so it like makes my ears tingle with excitement but he knows the way to be so sexy yet sensual yet powerful and the narrator that i'm talking about that plays falcon is brian uh paulino and then uh maddie is portrayed being narrated by uh, melissa moran who also does a good job as well but i'm t brian <laughs> whoo, whoo, he really stood out with his performance because he really like got into character and just mm, like there were there were moments like i'm just um paraphrasing this like he would say th like okay so falcon of course would say things like you know oh my body is just like aching for you but it's just the way that brian says it guys let me tell you i jumped out of my seat in excitement okay and he just has this very sexy deep like mm, guttural voice mm. he honestly Brian, you should have narrated Fifty Shades of Grey. Good God. That's all I have to say, but he really fits this book series perfectly. He he has that right amount of like classiness, sexiness, pr that that proudness. Mm. You can tell I really like <laughs> You can tell guys I really like this audio book. But guys, it was absolutely it was fantastic so if you're looking let's say you know you were like me and you're like mm -mm, i am so anti shapeshifter romances but if you're looking for a shapeshifter romance that has a lot of detail it has good character development and really nice like world building but i will say in regards to the to the world building and this was my only criticism the world building went a little bit too fast and then there were gaps within the story where i was just like okay well they're here but like why are they here and that sometimes there's a little bit of jumping around but since this is a prequel i'll give it a little bit of slack just a little bit because it's getting you prepared for the main series so if you do not like uh like shape shifter or shifter romances give this a try okay like i want to fall in love with a dragon shapeshifter okay and okay he is british okay so enough said okay i had all the teacups that i was drinking 
because he was fine, okay? And and to Brian Paulino, thank you, okay? You have made my day. Much appreciated. But guys, I'm telling you, this audiobook is the business. Definitely give it a listen. Um, and let me explain to you guys my uh, rating system, actually, um, because I decided to come up with a rating system that would be as fair and as balanced as I could. Um, instead of doing like the five out of five or a one out of five, I really wanted something that was a little more uh, quantifiable. So to rate the mate, okay? I am giving this the rating of masterpiece, okay? So what a masterpiece in my rating system is, is this is either, you know, it's a book. Um, sometimes guys, we will review like TV shows based off a of book series, like for example, Vampire Diaries. Um, but it's just, it has all of the characteristics, good world building, good um, character development. It has solid uh, storytelling and it's a masterpiece. So that's what I rate the mate. It is an absolute masterpiece. It is a pleasure to listen to. Your ears will be tingling all day after finishing this, okay? Um, and then my next rating underneath that is legendary where it's almost a masterpiece, but it's missing some elements that like prevent it from being really good. And then I have needs improvement and needs improvement is like, it's just not there, it's almost there, but it's just not there. And then the bottom of the bottom is not worth your time. So definitely something where you're like, you need to cancel it and then move on. But this is a masterpiece, guys. So I highly recommend that you listen to this. And if you like an audiobook being narrated by a man that has the deepest, sexiest, just tantalizing voice, make it your business to check out The Mate by Abigail Owen. This is a prequel, it's free guys, on Kindle Unlimited. So get that Kindle Unlimited, okay? Um, for, to listen to, or no, to read it. Let me make sure, correction. Um, to read it is free on Kindle Unlimited, but um, if you want to listen to it, it is on Audible. So let me make sure I'm being correct there. So yeah, definitely guys in that vicious comment section below, let me know if you have listened to this audio book of The Mate by Abigail Owen. What did you think about it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you, you know, did you fall out of your, your chair with hotness all up? You'd be sweating because it was so good. But let me know in that vicious comment section below if you have any recommendations of audiobooks that I should listen to um, that's paranormal romance, let a bitch know. Okay? So guys, I'm gonna get out of here because I need to make sure I get some sleep because I'm just way too excited because this audiobook was so damn good, okay? So guys, like I always say, remember to embrace the darkness of reading. Take care.